Robots, robots, robots. It's a robot race this weekend, folks. We've got two different kinds of robots. So rev up your motors, start flexing your night and all, and get ready. In lane one is the robot's taquito, a little robot that uses little wires of night and all to propel itself around the ground. You get this, you put it together as a kit, it comes with a book, and you go ahead and you put it all together. Now, what's night and all? Night null is really cool. It's a shape-changing metal alloy, so that means that when uh, heat or electricity is applied to it, the actual molecules constrict and contract and make the wire shorter. I've got some wire here, and that's uh, put out under the brand name Flexanol. And Flexanol is just like Night null, except it's very thin, and when you apply a charge to it, just like I'm going to do here, it will constrict. Now, what I've, the way I'm going to do that is I've got a battery in here hooked up to a switch. Okay, now I'm going to press it. And it's beginning to pull, and it's constricting, and bam, the lights go off. Now as I release it, it's going to go ahead and relax, and now it's going to be kind of wobbly and, and loose. I have to reset this by hand. Okay, this is how our robot's going to work. This taquito has little arms, and they have little muscles on them that are made out of this Flexanol, the Nitinol product. And when you put a charge on them, it, it constricts the muscles, and the robot goes forward. Let me demonstrate this with a ruler. What I'm going to do is I've got 10 inches of Flexanol here and I'm going to hook it up to a charge and it will begin to constrict. Now it's getting shorter. And if I unhook it, it will go ahead and get longer again. It got shorter by about 4 tenths of an inch, which is about 4% of its total length, which is pretty cool. Okay, you start off with the book and you know, all the parts and you go ahead and you fold up some legs. This is piano wire, which is just stiff wire that we're going to use for the legs. You sand it off so that it'll make a good electrical connection down the body. That's a piece of copper that you put down the center so that all the legs will be connected electrically. You fold them on over and you bend them on up. And you go ahead and you put the, uh, attach these nuts and bolts on and you attach the night knoll by crimping it on there and screwing it on there. And then you go ahead and you make up the legs and attach on the, uh, the electrical board and you're all set to go. Stiquito will face its competitor, the Inchbot. This Inchbot comes as a kit as well. It comes in a box like this and you put it together. It's for ages eight and up. It's a little bit simpler. It runs using a motor and uh, gears, which then turn a pulley, which then goes ahead and also turns this little crank here. And that makes the whole thing inch along and uh, move forward on wheels. On your marks, get set, go. And the winner is the Inchbot. Moving right along. What happened to Stiquito? Stiquito isn't fast, but Stiquito is pretty cool. Let's take a closer look at 10 times the speed so we can see what's actually going on here. I love kits because I get to go ahead and try things out and I'm guided through with instructions and I can be successful. And then I can go ahead and make up my own stuff and extend the projects in my own way. I'm pretty confident that you could make up some cool little contraptions that could race on your own, or you could go ahead and get your own kits. We've got a lot of really cool kits right now in the Megzine store. You should go check those out. Also, the magazine that's just about to come out has some, a really cool robot project that will be on newsstands soon. This is the Make 08 volume, and it's all about play, toys, and games. So this is worth checking out when it reaches newsstands soon. Okay, I'm Bree Pettis, and you've just watched another Weekend Projects. Go out there, build some cool stuff, and have a great weekend.